Hey guys, and welcome to my herbalism guide. Uh, there's really not much guide to talk about here because herbalism is a very straightforward profession. Um, my one tip would be have glove enchants. Xanderlari herbalism, it's the same thing as legion herbalism, except it works in BFA. Another thing, if you don't have a sky golem, buy a sky golem. I think they cost like 100,000 to 50,000 gold. Very, very useful. Lets it so you can herb stuff without having to dismount, so pretty much gives you a free druid form in the fact that so you don't have to dismount whenever you pick an herb. So the, pretty much if you have herbalism and you have this glove enchant and a sky golem, you can just run around certain parts. I have a very, very, very good spot right here that I shouldn't tell you guys about, but if you know this spot, then you know what I'm talking about. It's very, very strong. Uh, there's a lots of spots. There's this spot right here, which I use for Akunda's Bite. Uh, there's a Zandalar spot. You can run around this whole coast here with Herbalism and get a lot of sea stocks, a lot of river buds, a lot of anchorweed, and a lot of uh, Siren's Pollen. Another route, I believe, is just kind of following the very edge of this area. And then there's also another route for sea stocks here, which I've done before. You take this flight path, just run this whole coast here, and then you do a loop, take that, and then you fly back down, and you just do that over and over again. Um, for the lion zones, I honestly don't know, because I'm not a lion. I have seen um, a few guides. I think one of them tells you for... I think it's the river, river bud, I don't know what you want to call it, but whatever that is, you just do circles around here. Uh, there's a very good... Maybe it was this place. That's the place I was just at. What am I talking about? So Stormsong Valley, from what I read, is the most resource-rich place in BFA. Um, I've heard you can just do laps around this area right here and just make just tons of gold. Um, another thing to keep in mind is Winter's Kiss. Winter's Kiss has some of the most compact spawning I've ever seen in my life. Um, I'll have like five on my map anytime I sh just go to this area. So if you want to farm Winter's Kiss, I don't, like, there's a, literally a website if you just Google. I'll Google it right now. Um, Winter's Kiss Farming. The website is called wowprofessions.com slash farming. This will tell you farming routes for every herb for BFA. For vanilla through BFA content, it'll tell you the best farming routes for every herb, so check that out. Um, I'll probably put the link in the description, but if not, just Google whatever herb you're trying to farm and then farming, and it'll pop up. And all you do is you just farm. You just farm until your heart's content. Um, if you have professions that use herbalism, obviously you're going to want to use the herbs that you get for your profession. If you don't have professions, which, hey, maybe you don't, uh, sell your herbs as fast as possible. The prices of herbs right now on my server are 80 gold, 60 gold, 80 gold. 60 gold being on the very low end, 80 gold being on the very high end. I've been buying all of my herbs for 80 gold each. So, sell your herbs as fast as you can. The prices will go down on them just very, very slowly over time as the expansion just... Because since the release, it's going to be a lot more expensive, but as the expansion draws on... Uh, the prices will go down, so just sell the herbs. Don't save them, just sell them immediately. Um, that's it. That's it. Pretty much all you do is farm. It's not a, there's not a whole lot of brain power, that's why it's a gathering profession. Um, the best spots in my opinion, I have this spot right here. You pretty much just, like, weave your way in and out of this canyon, and you'll get, I mean, I farmed, like, 400 herbs in less than an hour. Uh, this, this, I'm telling you horde spots that I've personally ran. I've ran a spot in every single zone. Um, this zone, I usually just run from here, and I'll just run along the coast here. You can either run this way or just cut through. You can cut through if you don't want sea stocks. If you want sea stocks, you can run outside. I'm pretty sure the herb density is about the same. So we pretty much run, you start here, run around this coast, either through here or around, and then you just do a lap just like that. You pretty much just go around zones with herbalism, and that's all you do. And then Zandal, like, here you can just literally just walk on roads, and you'll get tons of herbs, but Voldoon's the least compact for herbalism. 
Um, I do believe Zoldazar is probably the best for herbalism, and then Nazmir is the closest second. So, that's herbalism, guys. If you don't know what it does, I'm shocked. You just right-click a pixel and you get gold, so that's all that happens. Um, one thing you should do, and that's I haven't really highlighted it, do the herbalism quests. It's so easy. Like, these are some of the easiest quests. You'll just get... I believe it's at level 50. You'll have a chance to loot a quest from whatever herb. Be it a Siren's Pollen Herb, or Winter's Kiss, or Anchor Weed, or whatever. You'll get a quest to go to your trainer. Once you go to your trainer with level 50 herbalism, you'll be able to pick up every single quest to upgrade from level 1 to 2. The same thing will occur when you hit level 150 herbalism. You'll get one quest, you'll go to your trainer, suddenly a ton of quests will pop up, and then you'll have the quest from rank 2 to 3. Um, to get Winter's Kiss, you're probably just going to have to go gather this. Or I just have might have not completed it yet. Okay, I just need to go gather it then. But, but uh, yeah, that's herbalism, guys. If you guys, guys like the, the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave any comments. And uh, check out my live stream. It's twitch.tv slash paraglasses. It's also the first link in the description. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys later.